This is a boxer engine or flat engine. Car manufacturers such as Porsche, BMW and Subaru manufacture and implement these machines into the vehicles. But how exactly does it work? Starting at the center here you have the crankshaft which reciprocates its rotational motion to the linear motion of the pistons. Now let's break it down. The bottom part of the connecting rod is attached onto the crankshaft where the connecting rod itself also lies concentrically. These are the piston heads, which make the combustion process of oxygen and fuel possible in the combustion chamber. These piston heads are attached to the connecting rods with the piston pins. Both the connecting rod and its bottom part are held together by nuts and bolts. Angled above and below, in both directions of the crankshaft are the camshafts, which rotate in the same direction as the crankshaft but at half the speed. Attached to the camshafts are rockers, which as they are moved by the cams, compress the valve springs pushing the valves closer towards the pistons, creating space in the combustion chamber for air to go in and go out. The reason the camshaft must spin at half the speed of the crankshaft is to allow for the completion of the valve operation, which is done by one full camshaft rotation, while the forceful combustion process takes two full crankshaft rotations. Now that we know about all the parts and their functions for each rotating shaft, let's understand how they come together. The pistons move in a horizontally opposed motion, and as they move side to side, the intake and exhaust valves are letting air in and out of the combustion chamber, respectively. All of these significantly important motional parts of a boxer engine, along with the many other parts of the engine and the vehicle, contribute to the combustion process in the engine, which is what in turn moves a car.